a bank worker who facilitated a transnational organized crime group to launder money has been jailed for three years. 26-year-old Fanmi Abimbalat from Roscourt Terrace in Lucan was a facilitator for the Black Axe organized crime group which international law enforcement say is one of the world's most dangerous criminal gangs. He controlled many of the gang's money mules and accounts in Ireland but fled the country after he was arrested and was extradited to face trial. Judge Pauline Court said that he was effectively oiling the wheels of this crime. Fanmi Abimbala was a highly educated Bank of Ireland employee who has a master's in human resources. The 26-year-old drove a Mercedes and wore expensive clothes and jewellery and came to the attention of the Garda National Economic Crime Bureau during an investigation into the Black Axe. Criminal Organization Garda and Interpol have been focused on the activities of the organized crime group which originated in West Africa but has a global footprint. They say it is involved in online fraud, the human trafficking, drugs and gun crime as well as murder. Director of Interpol's Financial and Organized Crime Unit Rory Cochran said it is a sophisticated organization with a business model that involves a division of labor. Members and associates open bank accounts using false documents in one country that the crime is committed. Money is stolen and victims are left in another country while the money is laundered in other countries. Detective Superintendent Michael Crayon of the NEP said the gang's method of operation keeps changing. Prior to COVID, he said a lot of criminals were flying into Ireland to open bank accounts. Fanmi Abimbala worked at the mid to high range of the organized crime group in Ireland. He facilitated its money laundering by controlling money mules, moving money and managing the finances and accounts. Working in a bank he was aware of the internal tradecraft and how to get around it. He came to the Garda's attention as they were investigating the theft of over 1 million euros from a solicitor's office in November 2020 as part of an invoice redirection fraud. 700,000 euros of that money was recovered and 10 people were convicted of laundering the money. Some of it went to an account used to purchase a mobile phone and Fanmi Abimbela was seen on CCTV collecting that phone from a parcel motel. The iPhone was bought with money from an account which had received 121,000 euros from a business fraud. It was bought using a false name to deliver to a parcel motel account set up in a false name but which was paid with a card used by Fanmi Abimbala. Dadai discovered him receiving 34 bank account details from various people and sending on 18 to others.